Are you feeling the calling to start or grow a business that is so aligned with you and everything that makes up who you are? Do you know that there has to be a way to do this without so much hustle and without chasing the latest shiny objects, but you're just not sure how? You can definitely have a dream business that improves, not consumes your life, that allows you to work with soulmate clients while helping you and your family financially and in all ways. You can elevate yourself to be the entrepreneur who has all of her desires. I'm going to show you how on the Elevated Femmes Movement. Hi, welcome back to another episode. This week, I'm actually bringing you a little snippet of a conversation that I had with my longtime business coach, Kelly Roach. If you have been following me for some time, you know that I have been working with Kelly for several years now. It's been, I think, close to four years that I've been in Kelly's program. And I keep coming back to it because of the level of community that she has, uh, because of the level of support that she offers in her programs, and because she continues to grow and evolve, and she shares that with us. She shows us what it's like to build this amazing business that she's built over the the past um, 10 years, I think, that she has been in business. She has grown her business to eight figures, and she just continues to innovate and elevate, and it's just amazing to watch. So while my dream board doesn't necessarily have an eight-figure business on it, I still love being a part of Kelly's um, programs and being a part of her, being a part of the rooms that she creates because of that high high caliber um, entrepreneur that she attracts. And it's a great place for me to learn and it's a, a great place for me to also make collaborations, um, get clients, and to to keep growing and evolving and elevating myself. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed listening to this bit of me talking with Kelly. I actually went live in one of her free Facebook groups with her as she was launching her program. And I shared my experience with the, you know, the people watching, the people listening. Uh, But I wanted to share with you how I think, like what I think of when I'm a part of somebody's program so that hopefully it helps you also think about, okay, like if I'm going to sign up for something, maybe this is what I should be looking for. Um, Or if you're looking to create something, then maybe think of like, okay, how can I really elevate my programs? I can really help people and work with those people that are ready to take that next step that they're all in, they're committed. Um, and I hope that you just find some value in this because I think it's it's great to share this. It's, it's you know, th- there's so much about like, <laughs> you know, we love to talk about our own, our own businesses, but I actually, I wanted to highlight my business coach because she's been such a great mentor and she's been a great influence in my business and in my evolution as an entrepreneur over the past few years. So yeah, check this out. And um, if you are interested in learning more about working with Kelly, feel free to send me a message on social media, whether it's LinkedIn or Instagram, wherever you hang out, I'm there. And, um, and I'll connect you. I'll connect you either to Kelly or to somebody on her team. And you can, you know, you can take it from there. You can join her latest workshop. I think she has a workshop this week. So you can get a little taste of what it's like to be a part of her community and, and to work with her and her team. So without further ado, check it out. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Hi. Thank you so much for joining us today, coming and hanging out with me and Ty. Yes. Hi, Ty. Uh, Julia, why don't you start by introducing yourself and, and talking a little bit about what you do? Certainly. Yes. So I am a podcast strategist. And I like to say that I'm actually a business growth strategist because I like to look at people's um, businesses as a whole when we work with them to create their podcast or to manage their podcast. Um, we look at it as a whole thing, not just like this thing that we're going to do to hopefully have some sort of result in the business. Um, so it's actually a new business, it's still a baby business that I started. Uh, before that, I was a fitness and lifestyle coach. And actually, when I joined, um, stuff of entrepreneurs now known as empire builders. I, that was the business that I had Kelly and her team helped me with. 
And then I decided to put that business on hold and create my new one. And it's been, it's been great. So I love working with entrepreneurs and um, really holding hands with them, partnering with them to help them run a business that lights them up, that makes them feel good about the work that they're doing, that helps them bring value to the world and create a bigger impact on everyone that comes across the, their content and their, you know, their work and um, that, you know, it ripples down and helps everybody it helps not only them and their families, but everybody, the whole world. Yeah. So that's really exciting for me. I have, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, but I also have this like intrapreneur spirit where I like to be a part of people's businesses. And um, when I had this desire to start something new and create a boutique business, I had to kind of like think about, okay, what are the things that I'm good at? What are the things that I love doing? And how can I help others with with what I'm trying to create? And podcasting came to me because I had my own podcast as a fitness coach. And I had been going on other people's podcasts as a guest and been using that as a growth strategy for my business and loved it. Just loved, to me, it was such an elegant way of making connections with the host, putting myself in front of their audiences, and then, you know, becoming collaborator partners, the host, getting clients, getting leads. And so it became a no-brainer to be the the new service um, that I created. And yeah, I think later this year, it will be like, so this is my third year now working with Kelly and her team. And um, I, I love being a part of this community. It's, I'm one of those probably like client for life kind of people. (laughs) That's amazing. Well, we're so proud to have you for a third year. And I think that's a great question, Julia, because I think that there are so many people that, you know, they're sitting here today, they want to make this investment, but they feel nervous because, you know, they've maybe made other investments and maybe they haven't panned out or maybe it wasn't what they needed or they didn't get the support or the leadership uh, that they needed to grow. So, what would you say to those people in terms of like, why do you keep coming back for three years? And what do you feel is different about the way that we do things and how we interact with our clients than maybe the other things that the people that are here listening and watching today have experienced in the past? Like, what would you say that difference is? Oh my gosh, a lot. So I also worked with other coaches. I worked with coaches um, while working, while being a part of this this program as well. And let me tell you, this is why I keep coming back here. It's, you know, Empire Builders, it's, you know, you guys market it as a group program. I don't, there's so much one-on-one support. I feel like it's like being undersold by saying it's a group program because Mm -hmm. Casey, who is my coach, she is unbelievable. I mean, anytime I have a question and I want to run something by her, I can send her a message, get, you know, support right away. We have our one-on-one calls, which like, you know, I love, love my one-on-one calls with her. I'm from New Jersey. She's from New Jersey. You know, she, she's always telling me like, bring the Jersey. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, I love um, it. so it's, there is so much support. And then of course, in the community, the, the people that you attract Kelly to your programs is really top notch. I mean, that's also been one thing that really, really has helped me is just being able to to be the type of person who can also provide value to my other cohort mm-hmm. members, group members, because a lot of times they come to me for, you know, advice or, you know, become clients. And it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, but also like we get to learn so much from each other. We have so many um, bilingual entrepreneurs in the program. It's yeah. amazing. And that's also now giving me ideas because I speak Spanish as another language. And I'm like, hmm, what if I, you know, um, also use that as a scaling mechanism. So there is just so much that we can learn from each other and so many different ways to support each other, collaborate and work with one another that it's really such a great place to be. Yeah, I agree. And and I, I, this is the first time I really have pulled out this 
clarity in the launch of the fact that, yeah, we're, we, same thing to your point. I just, you know, I was just talking about this. We sell this as a group coaching program, but you're truly getting high level consulting. You are getting one to one consulting on a monthly basis. You have a relationship with our team. It's not, you're not in this, you know, program where there's just thousands of people. I mean, I know I've, I've, made that mistake before myself. And it's actually why I have invested so heavily in team because I join these other programs and I get put in a Facebook group with 5,000 people. And I am a good student. If I invest in something, like I am going to work my freaking ass off and figure out how to make it successful. But the problem is, is even if you're a good student, when you go to implement, you have questions. If you're trying to do really, really well with what you're learning, you need to be able to reach out to a human and say, hey, you know, so-and-so was just talking about this on our cohort or on our mastermind session. I want to implement it. This is what I'm thinking. You know, what does this look like? So you mentioned, Julia, how you really use the the one-on-ones with Casey, and that's been really beneficial for you. What are the elements of the program? What are the other elements that you really utilize? Because I know different people are different in how they uh, use the program. Yes. So I love strategic advisory. I never miss it. Even if I have to catch the recording later in the day, um, you know, I love catching it like that day. Like that is, you know, Wednesdays are like my day where I just really tune into your message that you're sharing. Um, there's always something valuable from that, from that session. And I, I can just think of, I think it was like last week where you were talking about, um, you know, making sure that the things that we do, you were talking about, you know, having our live shows and yep. going on podcasts and making sure that we're not just checking boxes. Right. And it was just one of those things that it's just like, aha, right. Like, yeah, yes. We don't want to just be doing all these things yes. to say we're doing them, but not really having the right intentionality and the right strategy to really yeah. be able to like see a result from it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, it's kind of a big deal to come back for three years to work with the same organization and the, and the same mentor. So what would you say to the people that are sitting here today? We have 48 hours left uh, for, you know, registration in the program. And we have lots of people here that are obviously, you know, they're, they're, they're there, you know, they, they, they want to do it, but there's a little bit of, you know, is this the right time? Can I make the time? it's a big investment. Is it going to be the right one? You know, what would you say to those people, Julia? Help them, help them say yes, yes to themselves. <laughs> yes. I think, I mean, I'm sure you, you may have heard this from other people already, but to me, the fact that you're here, the fact that there's something in your, in your gut, something in your heart, in your soul telling you that, Hmm, this is all really valuable. This is all really interesting. How could this work for me? That's a sign. That's a sign that you really want to explore this. And to me, there is really, there's no way to fail in this program. I mean, yes, uh, you know, there's people who are doing, you know, seven, eight figures in their business. There's others, other people who are like me, you know, we're working to the, towards that first six figures at the moment with a new business, but you know, there's no failing because we are like, I continue to make progress every day. I'm making connections. I have, you know, calls this month, this month is going to, this year is going to be amazing. I just know it. So there, as long as you're doing the thing, like I, getting those calls in your calendar, um, getting yourself out in front of other people's audiences, creating content, all the things that you guys teach us how to do and how to do them well there's no way that you can fail. So if like that, if you feel like, oh, I'm going to make the investment and it's not going to work out. It's, I don't think that's true. I really don't think that's true. Something, you will get something out of this for sure. It will be, if you try to make it the best of it, if you try to make the best of it, you will get the best out of it. And, and, you know, again, back to my point, I really think that the investment is probably like even lower than it should be. Because of the don't tempt me, Julia. I'm already <laughs> yes. tempted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, launch price increase. Yeah. So I mean, to me, it's absolutely worth it. It's yeah. absolutely worth it. And mm-hmm. you know, you could probably go to a one-on-one program, but you're not gonna get everything else that you get. You, yeah. You're not gonna get the community, you're not gonna get everybody's um expertise that you can tap into. Yeah to really yeah. take yourself to the next level. Yeah. So 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think also, Julia, I love what you shared about like the pivot because you came to us building one business and then you went through like a huge transformation to get pointed in a new direction. And I think there's a lot of people here that started down one path and maybe it's not the path that they're meant to go down and they need support in actually getting on the right path and figuring out who their audience is and clarifying their message and actually getting in action with it. So, you know, if there's people that are here today that are in that transition, it's another way to use the program as well to like find what that call is for this next stage for you and and really get clear and get confident and get moving, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that it's definitely a great place to come and and really use that. It's like a mastermind, you know, where you can you can really figure out your your next right steps for your business, whether it's, you know, rebranding it and changing a few things up or doing a complete new business. And for me, it just made sense. I actually still have some fitness clients, but I just, I, you know, I no longer market that business because it was just going to kind of split my focus. Yeah. And I wanted to be really intentional and focusing on one thing. So, um, so these are the things that you, you can learn and you can see what works for you, right? Because everybody, yeah. everybody is different. Some people love running multiple businesses, but some people yeah. have little kids. So for me right now, you know, I had to put one on pause, yeah. but yeah, these are all yeah. the things that you will get support with um, when you join up, when you join. Absolutely. <laughs> when you join. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Julia, thank you so much for joining us today. It was great to have you here and keep up the great work because you're doing fantastic. And I've loved seeing your transformation and the elevation that you're doing and you're doing amazing things with podcasters. So keep it up. Thanks, Kelly. And just know I'm I'm going to go get changed now. We're going to the Eagles or we're going to family to watch the Eagles game. So yeah. all right, let's go birthday. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Have a good one. Thanks, Thanks, Julia. Thank you for listening to the Elevated Femmes Movement. I would love to hear your thoughts on the podcast. So please leave us a review. If you know someone who could benefit from the episodes on the show, please share it with them. We need more women elevating to their highest potential, enjoying all the great things in life, having plenty of time freedom for their children and loved ones, while doing things smarter and not harder and growing a business that improves, not consumes their life. To connect with me and download my free resources, please go to www.juliamhickman.com.